North Korea claims it has successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, a device which can be loaded onto a long-range ballistic missile. There's no independent verification of that claim. South Korea and Japan say it was a nuclear test ten times more powerful than the previous attempt by Pyongyang. A jubilant newsreader on state TV announced that the bomb test had been a complete success. The device was of unprecedentedly large power, she said. The news came just hours after state media published this photograph of Kim Jong-un apparently inspecting such a device. The test comes against a backdrop of heightened tension in the region following multiple missile launches by North Korea, the last one conducted less than a week ago. Earlier, seismologists detected a powerful tremor measuring 6.3 near the North's main testing site at Pungari. Well, uh, let's talk now to uh, Lasina Zerbo from the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty Organisation. Um, good morning to you. What do you see as the significance of this? Uh, good morning. I think uh, at uh, 3.30 this morning, as you mentioned, our international monitoring system uh, of station detected uh, a significant event, much larger than uh, the previous announced and declared a DPRK test. And uh, this is clearly an indication that uh, the program is going increasingly uh, serious and that uh, the international community needs to, to come up uh, uh, pretty soon with a solution. Uh, increasingly serious and it's going at some speed, you would say? Indeed, because we move uh, since 2006, that's now the sixth test, all detected by our international monitoring system, but this one is obviously much larger than the previous ones. Uh, one of the questions here is whether or not what has been tested today, and they're talking about a hydrogen bomb, could be in some way linked to a long-range missile. Are you clear on that in your mind? Look, I think uh, what I would say is that uh, whether it's a hydrogen bomb or not, uh, the, what is evident today is that uh, their program is increasingly getting serious in terms of uh, the ability uh, to master uh, the technology of uh, having a nuclear, a nuclear bomb. Uh, so we're not speculating at this moment whether it's an hydrogen bomb or not, because our uh, role is to indeed to, to, to concise, to come with concise uh, specification, technical specification for our member state, and this is what we're doing. And then we can just confirm that it's a much larger event than the previous one, and a good indication that they're progressing quite well. In which case, what do you say the international community should do now? I think uh, sanction has been uh, on and on. Uh, so if sanction were working, I think we wouldn't be at this stage. We've been advocating that uh, uh, since 2006, many of us, and experts including have been saying that it's about time to find a way to stop DK, DP, the DPRK from uh, doing further tests. I think we're not there yet. Uh, sanction has been going, but uh, now we're talking about the sixth test. And then uh, technically, uh, experts are talking about the possibility of carrying further. OK, thank you very much for your thoughts, uh, Lucina Zerba there in Vienna. Well, of course, uh, China will be watching developments on the Korean peninsula very carefully. Stephen McDonnell is in uh, Beijing for us now. Any uh, official reaction thus far, Stephen? Yes, well, I should say straight off the bat, we have just received a brief written statement from the Chinese Foreign Ministry strongly condemning this latest nuclear weapons test. Now, just to give you an idea of how close this is to China, Yanji is a small city not far from the North Korean border and on Chinese social media we've seen images of chandeliers shaking and the like from the, the power of this underground test being felt on Chinese territory. So people up there are certainly aware that it's happened and you know what will not be lost on the Chinese government is that this is at least well the third time that I can count that either a nuclear or missile test has come out of North Korea to coincide with a really crucial diplomatic meeting that the Chinese government has had. And in this case, it's just opened up the BRICS summit, a, a very important meeting with Russia, India, Brazil, all uh, who have all come to China. A and this test comes to, to coincide with the opening of the meeting. This will infuriate the government in Beijing. And it looks like a bit of a, well, an indication from Pyongyang that it's not happy with China's imposition of sanctions on that country.
Stephen, good to have your thoughts. Thank you very much. North Korea is believed to have conducted another nuclear test. At around 12.30 this afternoon, unusual seismic activity was detected near the North Punggye nuclear test site. South Korea's military is on high alert and it's analyzing the details. If confirmed, this would make it North Korea's sixth nuclear test. Now, for more on the details, we connect to our Ministry of National Defense correspondent Kim Hyun-bin. Hyun-bin, give us the latest. Uh, that's right, Minjie. As you said, uh, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff announced a couple hours ago that they detected an unusual seismic activity uh, near North Korea's nuclear test site. Uh, a tremor magnitude 5.7 was detected in Punggye at 12:29 p.m. around three and a half hours ago. And the JCS says right now it's presumed to be from North Korea's sixth nuclear test. Now, South Korean military says the magnitude is the largest of any test so far. Now, just 30 minutes ago, Pyongyang claimed that it has tested a miniaturized hydrogen bomb that can be loaded onto an intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, Seoul and Washington are currently analyzing the man made earthquake and looking for signs of any unusual activity uh, north of the border. The JCS added that all South Korean troops have been put on high alert. And experts say if North Korea perfects its ability to miniaturize such weapons, then the regime will be capable of mounting a not only on ICBM, but on its intermediate and short range ballistic missiles, which will be a great threat to the region. Now, since 2006, North Korea has conducted five nuclear tests, including two last year. Now, that's all for now, but we'll bring more updates as this story develops. Back to you. North Korea says it has successfully carried out a hydrogen bomb test. North Korea made the announcement about half an hour ago on a state run TV broadcaster. We have successfully tested a hydrogen bomb that can be loaded into a new intercontinental ballistic missile. The announcement came about three hours after the 5.7 magnitude artificial quake was detected near the North's Punggye test site. This is apparently the North's sixth nuclear test and comes about a year since its fifth nuclear test in September last year. South Korea's weather agency has also indicated that the seismic activity in North Korea Sunday afternoon appears to be man made. Kim Mo Gyan explains. The Korea Meteorological Administration announced that the 5.7 magnitude earthquake that occurred in North Korea's test prone Punggye area could be an artificial quake rather than a natural seismic activity. Authorities detected the shape of the seismic waves and found that the latest tremor could have occurred due to the shock coming from a nuclear test. They said that there are two types of waves that travel through the Earth's interior, and a tremor is considered to be an artificial one if the amplitude of the P waves are much higher than that of the S waves, just like in this case. The KMA initially put the scale of the earthquake at magnitude 5.6, but revised it to 5.7 with a depth of zero kilometers. If Sunday's tremor is proved to be caused by another nuclear test from North Korea, experts say it could signal the North's development of a much more powerful nuclear bomb as the tremor far exceeds the 5.0 magnitude detected during the North's fifth nuclear test last September. The latest news came just a few hours after the North State News Agency claimed that the regime had developed a hydrogen bomb that could be mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile. Kim mo -gyun. North Korea has confirmed its test of a hydrogen bomb meant for an intercontinental ballistic missile was a perfect success. The country's sixth nuclear test, ten times more powerful as its fifth, sparked a powerful 6.3 magnitude earthquake which was detected in the northeast of the country where North Korea's test site Punggye-ri is located. The hydrogen bomb test ordered by leader Kim Jong-un was a perfect success and was a meaningful step in completing the country's nuclear weapons program, state television said. The statement read, scientists in the nuclear field of the DPRK Democratic People's Republic of Korea successfully carried out a test of H-bomb for ICBM intercontinental ballistic missile in the northern nuclear test ground at the DPRK at 12 o'clock on September 2nd, true to the Workers' Party of Korea's plan for building a strategic nuclear force. It said radioactive material did not leak into the environment. The announcement was delivered by news anchor, R.I. Jung-hee who has been making announcements on Korean Central Television for more than 40 years. North Korea Television also released photographs appearing to show Kim signing the order to carry out the country's sixth nuclear test. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff in Seoul said in a statement its military has strengthened monitoring and readiness and is mulling a variety of possible responses that could be pushed together with its ally the U.S. It says it detected a seismic wave from 12.34 p.m. to 12.36 p.m. Sunday around Punggye-ri. The test is a direct challenge to President Donald Trump, 
who hours earlier had talked by phone with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe about the escalating nuclear crisis in the region. The U.S. State Department had no immediate reaction. South Korea's presidential office said it will hold a National Security Council meeting chaired by President Moon Jae-in. It is absolutely unacceptable if North Korea did force another nuclear test, and we must protest strongly, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said. We have breaking news, breaking news. This has been a very busy evening, but uh, we have breaking news that a nuclear detonation has probably taken place in North Korea underground. It has caused a 5.1 earthquake. The earthquake's epicenter is at the approximately at the test site where North Korea's Kim Jong-un would be uh, potentially testing nuclear capabilities. Now, according to the report, the website out of China the China Earthquake Network has described this as a suspicious explosion. The U.S. Geological Survey put the tremor, the earthquake, at a magnitude 5.1, its depth 10 kilometers, with the epicenter 19 kilometers east-northeast of one of their towns called Sung Ibegim, placing it right next to to their nuclear test site. The North has conducted three nuclear tests, all of them at the same location in 2006, 2009, and 2013. The South Korean Defense Ministry says it was looking into the reports. Um, and so we've convened this as an emergency meeting. Further analysis is necessary to determine whether it is an artificial earthquake or nuclear detonation or is this a natural earthquake according to the spokesman for the Korea Meteorological Administration it took place not long ago now back in 2013 in February of 2013 there was a nuclear test that took place in the same area it also triggered a 5.1 earthquake once again, I repeat, it is a very highly suspicious explosion, but according to China's government, and also South Korea is highly suspecting that what has just happened in North Korea is that Kim Jong-un and his regime has just detonated a nuclear warhead underground, causing a 5.1 magnitude earthquake there in North Korea. Uh, we will continue to keep a close eye on this. It's the last thing we need in such a volatile world. That Are you serious? What is this guy doing? I told you guys, Kim Jong-un, I told you guys, the little dictator, he used to play in the basement when his daddy was running the country with his video games. Now he plays with the green buttons in North Korea. And this time he's playing with the real real nukes. This is not good. This is not good. I repeat, this is not a good thing. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Would you please pray? Because you know, we have in South Korea, the United States has a military uh, base there with about 22,000 U.S. soldiers. And um, I ask for prayer for our men and women in uniform on the continent of Korea. Also, would you please pray for the people of South Korea who have to be neighbors to this madman. And also, please pray for the, the innocent, and I mean innocent, civilians being actually held hostage in a prison state, a prison planet, if you will, for sure, the citizens of North Korea who have to live under this tyranny of, of the for the third generation now, Kim Jong-un. Again, earthquake 5.1 North Korea at the exact location of the test site for nuclear uh, warheads. And it looks as if Kim Jong-un has detonated a nuclear warhead underground 
causing a 5.1 earthquake. Well, this is the last thing we need with contaminated water in, in uh, Flint, Michigan, and U.S. soldiers pinned down, helicopter down, and being shot at by the Taliban in Afghanistan. We don't need anything else. Are you serious? Please pray. We're running out of time, folks. We're living in the last days, I'm telling you. It's getting very serious. Are you saved? Jesus is the way. All right, guys, we have breaking news coming out of Seoul, South Korea. Um, according to Reuters, North Korea said on Sunday that it has developed a more advanced uh, nuclear weapon that, that has great destructive power. And they've even taken pictures of the, their leader, the little dictator, Kim Jong-un, inspecting this hydrogen bomb that will be loaded on a new intercontinental ballistic missile. Now, the report by North Korea's official KCNA news agency comes amid heightened regional tension following North Korea's test launch of two intercontinental ballistic class missiles in July that potentially had a range of about 10,000 kilometers or 6,200 miles. That could hit any part of mainland United States. Now, under their leader, Kim Jong-un, North Korea has pursued work on building nuclear weapons and long-range ballistic missiles with the help of the Chinese and the Iranians uh, at least those two nations, if not the Russians, but certainly China and uh, Iran. Um, they've been working on these long-range ballistic missiles, and they can deliver them at an unprecedented pace, defying UN sanctions and international pressure. Now, experts and officials have said that North Korea could conduct its sixth nuclear test at any time, and that the reclusive country has maintained a readiness at its nuclear test site to conduct another detonation test at any time. Matter of fact, the hydrogen bomb power is adjustable to hundreds of kilotons and can be detonated at high altitudes. With its uh, ability, they've put in it components allowing the, the country to build as many nuclear weapons as it wants. And Kim Jong-un visited the country's Nuclear Weapons Institute and watched a hydrogen bomb to be loaded into the new ICBM missile. And all components of the hydrogen bomb were homemade and all the processes. So they did it all in-house. They can build their own bombs. Somebody's supplying them with, the, uh, with all the components, but they can do it. Now, uh, the question's going to be, What's going on here? Is this, I'm just going to say this. I feel that China is baiting the United States. They're using North Korea. Somebody's got the EMP technology and crippled the USS Fitzgerald and then rammed it, killing seven of our sailors, and then used the EMP to cripple the USS John McCain and then rammed it, killing 10 more of our sailors. Now, We've got hel uh, Black Hawk helicopters falling out of the sky everywhere. And we, we had four ships that had the ability to shoot down one of these intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now we only have two because Fitzgerald and the John McCain is sidelined. So now we only have two left. It's as if China and then, and then North Korea fired that missile over top of Japan and nobody shot it down. Nobody shot it down. It went 1,600 and 77 miles. Folks, it, they're baiting us. Now they're showing us this bomb. I put it in the thumbnail. They can load the payload onto a new missile. The missile's already been launched and proven it will go. So look, I mean, say what you want to. I mean, they can't beat us in a nuclear war unless China has, has, has gotten to the point that they can cripple by using EMP attacks. Our military, I don't think so, but I, I'm starting to wonder what is the motive here? What's the motive here? China's behind it. China's behind it. China's behind it. Now, I wrote a book called 
Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D. And in this book, which it's a, it's a novel, but it was based on current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy and with an end time apocalyptic scenario. And in the book I wrote, because I felt led of the Lord, I truly felt led of the Lord that it would be Chinese soldiers that would be sent in and would be the ones that would monitor the United States, enforcing the uh, law of the new world order uh, of the Antichrist, that they would use Chinese soldiers, okay? So um, every time I see how they're buying up all the land, buying up all our meat, getting it, building these islands out in the Pacific, uh, Obama just sat there and did nothing uh, and, and let our military especially our Navy ships, did not retrofit any of them for eight years. I mean, I'm telling you, folks, then we have the Arab Spring and the chaos and Israel surrounded. There's just so many things. And President Trump is trying his best, but man, you just can't turn the Titanic around on a dime. There's so many uh, snakes in the water and there's so many gators in the swamp and there's so many, the deep state is what I'm trying to tell you. They're so locked into Washington. Oh my, this, this global elitist the new world order, the biblical beast in the Bible, the seven-headed monster with 10 horns and crowns in the name of blasphemy on their heads, speaking lies. And then the media. So anyway, that's where we're at. Pray one for another. Pray for our men and women in uniform on the front lines. And guys, I'm not just speaking about this and the U.S. This affects all of Europe. This affects the free world is what I'm trying to say. It affects us all. Are you saved? Now look, the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but love and power and a sound mind. And the body of Christ is not afraid. Not afraid. We're not afraid. Those of us that are uh, capable to understand biblical prophecy and are willing to even read it, you know, we don't walk around in fear. We're not the children of the night, but the children of the light, okay? Now, we are meek, but we're not weak. And so Jesus told us to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves. So we are watching what's going on. I'm a watchman. Some say I'm the original watchman when I'm the first one that ever came on YouTube to start uh, talking about current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy and pulling people together. Now others have joined. But I can tell you, as a watchman sitting on the wall, I can see a sword coming, and I must warn you. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're in the last days.